my beauties welcome back today I am doing a makeup tutorial another fall look this one is more of a berry burgundy eye smoky makeup tutorial I really loved it I am using this coastal scents fall festive palette you can find this on the coastal scents website um, it brings a big mirror and it brings mainly all obviously fall colors there is only one matte in this palette, but the rest are beautiful. The pigmentation is amazing, and the price is seriously awesome. You can actually wait until they have those sales, and I actually picked these up, I think, for under $10. So they have more than, uh, I think they have like six palettes in total. I have about four of them, and I have not been disappointed. If you guys want to learn how to obtain this look, just keep on watching. First, I'm going to prime my eyelid. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm just going to put this on our upper lid and lower lid since we will be using eyeshadow on the top and lower lash line. You can use any primer that you want. Next thing I am taking is this BH Cosmetics uh, Corrector. Looks like this is kind of like a painterly pot. Um, it just makes your eyes... The, the, your actual lid just look more uniform and not so blotchy or your veins popping out. I just use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way with this product. I just dab in a little bit on my finger. Okay, the next um, thing that we are using is you can use any transition color that you have. I'm taking the Naked Basics one and I'm going to use Naked 2. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on our crease of our eye to help the other colors out. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on there. It's going to look like that. Now I am taking from the Coastal Scents palette, the Fall Festival palette. The first color that I am taking is this red right here. This one is called American Rose. You can get these off of the actual website um, individually or in this actual palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a brush, a tapered brush like this, and I'm only dabbing it in the eyeshadow once because this is fully red I don't want our eyes to look tired but um, I want an under kind of like something where the burgundy will stick to so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in our crease just keeping it on the outer part of our crease and just blend this out until it's fully fully blended out back and forth you see how that little bit just that little bit got a lot of product so you just want to blend this out don't blend up, blend it down because you don't want the red to show too much. You just want this to be diffused on your eye. It'll look like that. It looks more vibrant on camera than it really does in person. Believe me, it doesn't look as red in person. Now the next color that I am taking is uh, this burgundy color right here, see it right there? This one is called um, Raisin Berry. It's a beautiful color. I really, really do like this one. So this is the one that we are going to go ahead and put on our outer V. And I'm using a more tapered brush. This one is the blending, it's called the blending brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this on only on the outer V. So pat it on your lid, bringing it down and into the crease. And then just blend it all out. You can put as much product as you want depending on how dark you want the actual burgundy color to show. Okay, so you can see that right there. That's I've only dabbed it in there twice. Now the next color that we are taking is this color right here. This one is called um, light apricot. 
right here. And I'm just going to grab a flat eyeshadow brush and we're going to pat this on the inner corner and on our eyelid, whatever does not have burgundy on it. Just pat that on there. As you can see, right in the middle of right here, there is a little bit of burgundy. I'm going to mix both of those together just to make it look flawless and not separated. Bring it down a little bit on our lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to grab a clean blending brush and just blend out the harsh lines. I'm going to do this very gently because you don't want red everywhere. Okay. Now I am grabbing my e.l.f. eyebrow lifter and I'm taking the ivory side and we're going to put this on our brow bone just as our highlight. And this is matte so I really like this because all the rest of the colors are shimmery. So we're just going to blend that out with our finger and then grab the blending brush again and just blend that burgundy color so it doesn't look so stark that you know you put something there. Now I'm going to grab this chocolate color right here. This one is called uh, Cherry Chocolate. So it's kind of like a red brown. It has sparkle to it. has red sparkle to it. We're just going to grab a synthetic brush, a very thin synthetic eyebrow. This is like an eyeshadow brush. And we're going to only put it on the end of the brush and then bring this in right about there and then just blend out. Now I'm going to grab my Rimmel Scandal Eyes uh, pencil in brown. We're going to tight line and our waterline with this color. Now I'm going to get my Maybelline gel liner in black and we're just going to do a wing liner on our upper lash line. Now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Lash Blast uh, Mascara and we're going to put this only on our upper lash line before our falsies. Now what I did is I went back with the same brush that I used the burgundy color with. This one right here, the Raisin Berry. And I didn't like the fact that I lost a little bit of the pigmentation when I blend it out. So what I'm going to do is just going to dab in a little bit and I'm just going to pat this on just to get a little bit more vibrant. Okay. So you can make it as dark as you want. It's up to you. Now I'm going to use falsies. The falsies that I am using are these 21 Model 21 eyelashes and these are in 16T. This is what they look like. I picked these because these are a little bit darker um, as far as their actual lashes. So I wanted these due to the fact that we are using darker colors. They are bigger than my eyes, so I do have to cut them. So I will put these on and I will be right back. So that's a final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really, really love that berry color for the fall. You can actually do a dramatic lip with this kind of a look. You could do like a burgundy or a plum color um, and go with the eyes, but I didn't want it to be so dramatic due to the fact that, you know, my eyes are dramatic and I just wanted to pick one element to be, you know, dramatic. 
So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Um, I hope you guys did as well. I do have uh, a few loves this week. I do not have a dud, which is awesome, which I really like when I don't have a dud. So I want to start off with showing you my nail polish. L um, if you saw my Ipsy unbagging, you would see that I was wearing this lip, uh, not lip color, nail color. <clears throat> this is the Maybelline 